La GEMA lo hace de nuevo y somos el único medio nacional que tiene presencia aquí en la final de la ECS, temporada 4, directo desde el Hotel Hard Rock en Cancún. Los jugadores están listos, entonces, ¿qué esperamos? Vamos a ver qué fue lo que sucedió. El mundo se ha conmocionado. Un grupo de adolescentes ha tomado la televisión y ha implantado el terror. Su revolución nos ha hecho verlos no como adolescentes, sino como adolescentes terroristas. So, uh, how do you like Mexico so far? So far, so good. I like, really like the complex where we are staying here in. It's uh, really something, something that I've never experienced as a player yet. I love it here. My entire team loves it here. It's kind of like a paradise to end the year with one of the most like prestigious events. My dad is from South America or Chile, so uh, so I feel kind of home. It's really nice to understand people and so so on. So yes, it's good. Yeah, it's amazing. That's one of the like best. Uh, venues we've been to, like the hotel, is just amazing. Uh, the venue is great, of course. It's uh, it's really relaxed. Uh, we can just chill around, play in the pool, go in the water, do jet skis, whatever we want. Poder estar en Cancún para relajarnos un poco y poder jugar bien, pues es un una maravilla. Y y pues nunca había estado en México antes y nunca me había imaginado que iba a poder jugar al contra aquí. Y estoy muy contento de eso también. Uh, I like it here. Like uh, we had uh, our previous uh, Paradise tournament in uh, Mykonos, Greece, and we won it. So obviously we like uh, everything here. But it's more more like relaxed uh, atmosphere here. Uh, but we like it. Well, I mean, we got here on Monday, and uh, we've been really lucky to be able to do that because it's been amazing since we've gotten here. Uh, I love it so far here. Everything's great. How do you fare the competition? Who are you most excited to, to face? I'm always excited to play FaZe since I feel like a rivalry is building. I think it's a rivalry in that sense, but uh, we beat them in New York pretty easily. I don't know if they have some uh, grudge against us. I'm pretty, I'm 100% sure we're gonna take the trophy home this time. I think the team to play this tournament is probably FaZe. They're probably one of the number one teams in the world, right behind SK. I would like to play against Cloud9 at one point, definitely. I hope that our preparation will be enough to uh, beat certain opponents, maybe get out of the group and maybe surprise even in playoffs. Good things, but it's better. Easy. Is it easy? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? How do you guys feel about uh, uh, not having a, a live audience here? Um, I think it's a little downside for us, but at the same time, it's really it's good for us too, so we can have pe some peace and quiet. What I live for and play for is the live audience, the the feeling you get inside your body when you make a sick play in front of 10,000 people is something that can't be replaced. If we, if we manage to get to really good shape here, then probably that's the reason we are playing so good. Like we, we really need to attend more of those events where we are just chilling and having fun with other teams, with our teammates. I'd say our team drives off of like a, a really good NA crowd. There's a reason I said good NA crowd, because when there's not a good NA crowd, there's a bad one, then it's like, it's bad. It's really bad. Definitely for me, it would give me more to focus in game, but uh, you always want some fans though. It's my dream to play in a like, very big audience and everybody cheering for you. Mood in the event can get a bit stressed as there is a lot of noise, a lot of people. So in that sense it's nice, but then on the other hand it gives you also, when you play on a big stage, it gives you an extra spark to play. So it's kind of 50-50. play a professional and you give you everything, but it's also a, a way to relax uh, after a hectic year. Would you guys like to see more uh, tournaments around Mexico or around Latin America? Uh, yeah, for sure. Like, um, uh, I personally like uh, to go different places and uh, Mexico seems pretty nice so far. I'm really blessed to have the job that I do and I'm able to see as, uh, see what I can and I'd love to be able to explore you know, every single country that I can. I think it will be a very, very good for the Brazilians and probably to the Latin America players as well because they, they need the opportunity to play a very good tournament to get experience and be better.
Any final thoughts? Any shout outs you might want to give? Yeah, I just want to say thank you to our sponsors, uh, fans throughout the whole year for the support. I hope you will support us for this uh, last tournament and uh, see you in 2018. Muchas gracias a toda la gente latinoamericana que me sigue. Just hope uh, the Mexican fans uh, really like the way we play and uh, I hope they support us in the future, now and in the future. Um, just shout out to Cloud9 organization for bringing us out and ECS for making it such a great event. Levar esse caneco para casa, bora! Let's go to the trophy, it's your home. And I would just like to thank all of our sponsors that help support us and all the fans that uh, cheer for us. We will try to make you proud that you are a Mouse Sports fan. Uh, I want to thank ECS for getting us to uh, Cancun. I want to thank Face Clan and G Fuel for all the support. Pessoal de la Gema, somos de Luminosity. Estamos aquí para playar el torneo ECS. Un saludo a toda la gente de la Gema y viva el Counter Strike. Hey guys, I'm here with la Gema and uh, keep in tune for more CS coverage at ECS Finals.